Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anka and I do art and illustration related videos. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and check out the other videos on my channel. So for today's video, I wanted to show you the process of me creating the desktop monthly wallpaper for my patrons. Uh, I used Procreate to create this illustration and it's a fox portrait. I really wanted to do something more realistic and I thought it would be nice to do a Q&A while you enjoy the process of me doing this illustration. So I asked you guys on Instagram uh, if you have any questions related to my illustration or to my videos or any stuff like that. And I did get quite a few questions. So thank you very much to everybody who submitted them. So I'll just uh, get into it. Uh, somebody asked in Romanian, what are my goals for this uh, year? Uh, what have I set up to do? at the beginning of the year or is this not my thing anymore so basically i don't really believe in resolutions but i did set a goal for this year i want to open up my online store i've been wanting to do this for a very long time because ma many of you ask if i have prints available how can they purchase my stuff and i just want to make this uh, process easier for you guys so i will be working on that uh this year other than that i don't really have any other resolutions like um maybe eat more healthy <laughs> stuff like that but business-wise that is my main focus uh, opening an online store somebody asked what art supplies would you recommend here in Romania so if you don't know I'm from Romania the one brand that I have used the most is called Daco so may maybe if you're from Romania you've heard of it I've used their gouache it's actually the first set I bought of gouache and they were really good paints so I highly recommend them I have also used some of their watercolor papers and some acrylics from them so they make a lot of good stuff and if you're in Romania I would recommend you try them somebody asked well, what tripod I use when I film the tripod I have is a really cheap one I think it was like 30 euros or something like that. I'm not sure what the brand is called. The brand is called Waifeng. If I can find it online, I will link it, but it's nothing very fancy. It's uh, your standard cheap plastic tripod. So yeah. <laughs> Someone asked uh, where and how you print your stickers, prints, etc. So my stickers and prints, I print at the firm I work for as my day job. Uh, this is not a a service they offer to most clients so we just have a printer over there that has a cutter plotter in it so it can make stickers yeah we have really good paper because we print uh, wall arts and wallpaper so that's where I print most of these but I've also made t-shirts and I made some tote bags very recently and those I made uh, using uh, Printoteca which is a firm in Bucharest so I highly recommend them uh, they make very high quality prints on textiles mostly someone asked at what age I started painting and how I discovered my talent started painting I think in well I started drawing in the ninth grade and I got into painting only about my first years of, of master's degree so I'm not sure what age I was then but yeah that's when I started doing fashion illustration and I got into inks and watercolors and stuff like that discovered my talent out of boredom I think I was sitting a lot at home and I wanted to I was scrolling through deviant art and I thought hey I want to do this as well and I just started drawing random portraits so yeah, that's how I discovered it. What's your favorite part of the process? It's definitely the painting part I like the most. I don't like the sketching part. You might have noticed that I don't really include sketching in my videos. However, I like mixing colors. I like adding colors, adding shades, adding textures to paintings. So that's pretty much my favorite part of the process. However, I also don't like the post-processing part where I have to scan my drawings and work on them in Photoshop. It takes me a very long time and I just find the painting part so much more enjoyable and creative. Someone asked, do you also work with clients, companies? What helped you the most to grow both in art and online? I sometimes work with clients. I have some of my regular clients. I have a client for which I do wedding invitations. I do portrait commissions, pet portrait commissions. I haven't really worked with a very big company yet but i'm very open to that as far as what helped me to grow both in art and online was to keep creating to be consistent that has been the main thing that uh, i think worked 
because uh, when I started my YouTube channel, I decided I will post every week, no matter how I feel, no matter how much time or the mood I'm in. I just wanted to be consistent about it, even if it was not my best week. The important thing is that you have to keep on doing it. Uh, making art challenges was also helpful in developing my art style, doing Inktober for two or three years in a row, um, drawing daily basically. That's the main thing you can do to improve yourself and to get more exposure. Somebody asks, uh, and this is a longer question, she said, I want to learn to do graphic design and something related. Is it possible to learn digital illustration by myself or should I enroll in a course? I think it's possible to learn anything by yourself if you have the motivation and you actually want to do it. I pretty much learned Photoshop by myself. I wasn't taught uh, pretty much anything about it in school. So I had to watch tutorials, experiment and figure it out myself. I don't think you need to go to a design university, I, although I do think it helps. Uh, to learn the basic stuff, to learn about art history and stuff like that. However, when developing your own style, uh, that doesn't really come with a course. It's more of a practice makes perfect kind of thing. So you have to work to get to the result you want. So yeah, I hope I answered your question. Somebody asked, when did you decide it's a good time to start a Patreon account? I think this was a really hard decision for me because I wanted to start a Patreon account way back when. But I decided that it wouldn't make sense uh, before I build some sort of community. So Patreon is not a platform where you can get discovered. It's a platform where you can send people from other platforms. So as long as you build a community, either on Instagram or on YouTube or wherever, and you have people that respect your work and would be uh, willing to pay a monthly fee for that, I think that is the right time to start a Patreon. Or even if people start asking for stuff from you and you don't have an online store, Patreon is always a good option. The next question is, what is your favorite thing to create? I think uh, it's pretty much <laughs> a tie between pet portraits and botanical illustrations. You probably have noticed this, that I do a lot of animal drawings and paintings and I add a lot of botanical elements to them. The next question is, any advice for people having art block or feeling not good enough? I've had a few art blocks throughout my years. I think taking a one week break or something like that is very beneficial because at the end of that week or of that day, if you just want to take a day, you will want to create something so bad and even if it sucks, you will probably end up not feeling art blocked just because you want to practice your art. About feeling not good enough, I think it's the same thing. It also helps if you stop comparing yourself to others. I still compare myself to others, but I try to look at my illustrations from a more objective view because if you compare yourself to others, you tend to imitate their style and I think it's best to take a break from social media, take a break from whatever you're doing and just uh, get your head into the paper and start creating. So feeling not good enough is something most artists go through, but if you work, you won't have very much time to think about it. Somebody asked, how do you keep yourself inspired? I keep myself inspired by traveling, by Googling, by watching a lot of cool art, by, I don't know, reading, meeting other people, going to design fairs. So there's lots of ways you can get inspired. It just depends uh, whatever stimulates you in a creative way. For me, it's mostly travel has inspired me the most, uh, seeing what other people can do and wanting to achieve that sort of level, of course, in my old style and stuff like that. Somebody asked, who do you look up to? Well, if you're asking in terms of illustrators, I have a lot of illustrators that I have mentioned before on my channel, uh, one of which is Lee Ellickson. She's really cool. She makes animal <laughs> and botanical illustrations, sort of similar. Uh, and I think I was very influenced by her style. Uh, I also like Fur Little Peach. I think she's very unique. She has developed a style of illustration that I don't really see anywhere else. She's from Australia. She also has a YouTube channel. I will link them all below. I also like Holly Exley. She's a watercolor artist. She's really great. She's an activist also, a vegan 
person, uh, somebody who really cares about the planet and that really shows through her work. And the last question is, um, how do I sharpen my I, Apple Pencil? <laughs> I don't really sharpen it. I think that's pretty obvious. You do have uh, an extra tip when you get the iPad, so that's probably the way to sharpen it. So I hope this Q&A was interesting for you guys. Thank you so much for the, your questions. I hope the answers were pretty interesting. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. And don't forget to check out my Patreon if you're interested in that. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.